Hello, this is Ichi Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor! Let's finally take down Dong Zhu himself at Chang'an Castle. For boss time! Now, Dong Zhuo, I think, is identical to what he was before. He's got the most strength and attack points in the battle, so... But fortunately, he doesn't have a lot of intelligence, so tactics would be a good way of taking him down quickly. Also, we've got Jia Su, who has a lot of intelligence, so I'm going to need physical attacks to take him down. He also has access to Shui Jing and Shui Jian, which can both be used in this battle because we're pretty close to a water source. So what I want to do... Oh yeah, also, uh, if you didn't recruit Lubu, you would be fighting him in this battle, too, I think. So let's have my physical attackers go after Jiazu, Guanping. Let's get our own Shui Jian set up here, and then have Lu Feng use Shui Zing on Dong Zhuo. It has a maximum damage of 160, so it's a little more powerful than Yehuo there. And then normally, if I was at level 10, I would use Cheng Ne, but since I unexpectedly hit level 11, we learned Ji Se, and I don't have access to that anymore. So I'm just going to attack Jia Su there. Yeah, Jia Su has, I think, a 50% chance of using Shui Jian in the first round if he's at maximum soldiers there. And I think that uh, the odds of that happening go down as we deal more damage. Yeah, you see, we didn't deal much damage there. But yeah, the odds of Jiazu using Shui Jian, it becomes less and less as he has less soldiers and we proceed through more rounds of combat, if I recall correctly. Okay, so let's see. Why don't we go... I'm thinking if I want to use Yehuo or Shui Zing. Why don't we go with Yehuo here? Since they don't have protection against that. And then I want to have Guan Yu use Jisei to cancel Shui Jian so that I might be able to use Shui Zing in the next round. Thank you for using a useless tactic there. Well, that didn't do too much, but uh, in any case, yeah, it says countered, whatever that means. But basically, it's just a dispel effect. It'll dispel, well, hopefully, Shui Jian there. Okay, so now, let's go back to Shui Zeng here with Guan Ping and Lu Feng, everyone else. Attack Jia Su, and we should be good then. Thank you for attacking uselessly. Oh, wow, a rare miss there. Yeah, look at that damage. Oh, wow, we dealt even more than uh, 160 there. I thought that was the maximum there. But in any case, yeah, so we can actually use Jisei. Hooray! Okay, so... Hey, that rhymed. But, uh, okay, so now... Let's see... Yeah, why don't we have everyone except Lu Feng go after Jia Su, and we'll just go with, uh, Shui Zing to finish off Dong Zhuo there. I am not even remotely worried about Zhang Ji. I was also kind of wondering if Ji Se would cancel our own Shui Jian. Like, maybe it was, like, a mass dispel effect or something, but, uh, no, no. I, I didn't really know exactly because I almost never use it, but, well, just circumstances worked out this way. But unfortunately, yeah, we don't have very much left here, so I would like to get in a little bit of healing on Lubu there. So how about we have Lu Feng do that since he has the least strength of all my party members, and then we'll go all out for the remainder of the battle. Zhang Ji is, yeah, nothing really to worry about. I wonder if he's related to Zhang Fei. I mean, they have the same family name, but, well, in any case, we got him. Hooray! And we save whatever this region is called. I don't think this region actually has a name, or at least not it stated in game anyway. So let's occupy Chang'an Castle. Well, yeah, he's dead now. He, he is. He's not coming back. What else do we got here? Well, we have an inn, but I don't want to rest up here because we're going to have a free healing point coming up here. 
Oh yeah, I think we talked to one of those guys back at the fortress there. Well, I wonder if uh, they're related or something. Oh yeah, you mean in the castle or in the castle area here? Well, we've got nothing here, and I don't think we actually find anything either. Oh, okay, they are related. Well, there you go. What about them? Oh. Well, yeah, that pretty much describes everyone in this game. But, uh, okay, we got a new item shop to solve our problems. With lots and lots of drugs. We got smoke pot. That's actually a uh, fairy water or holy water kind of item. You use it and you don't encounter any random battles for some amount of time. But it's really, really short. So I never use that. But I guess you could if you wanted. We also have power pills. Which are basically the same thing as uh, Marble 1 in Breath of Fire. You use it and you'll get a guaranteed critical hit after that. So that's pretty nice. I definitely want to buy a lot of them for my entire party here. So I would recommend getting four of them for each of your party members. And I'd also like to buy a steed because we're not going to be able to buy them otherwise for a while. And there's really only, I think, one party member that I recruit in Chapter 3. So, not too much. Uh, yeah, we don't need too much in the chapter as far as dealing with uh, recruiting party members. We can pretty much kill everyone at my leisure. Now, there's also a uh, some armor that I want to buy here. Or actually, headgear specifically. But I, I'm going to buy it here, even though I could find it in a dungeon coming up. But that's almost at the end of the chapter. So, yeah, I would just buy them now. They're cheap enough. I'm not sure if I got exactly four for everyone. Oh, yeah, we need to sell a lot of stuff, too. Okay, I need one more for Guan Yu. Okay, yeah, we'll do it that way, then. Okay, so one more for Guan Yu, and then I need to sell a lot of my equipment, because we're going to buy a lot of equipment. So let's see, I'm going to get rid of the bandanas. We are finally going to get an upgrade for those. Let's see, we're going to get an upgrade for axes here. So we might as well sell the weapons. We don't actually have... Uh, body armor or something to replace the leather armor yet but we are going to have that in the near future so save your money for whatever else okay I think Zhang Fei had yeah an extra X we can just get rid of that and get rid of the old bandana he's got a club so we don't need to worry about that okay bandana Get the axe sold. Eventually, I will want to sort my inventory now that we're actually going to have consumable items available. But for now, I'll just leave it like this until it actually becomes important. Okay, so we got everything sold. Let's get a steed over to Liru. And then I think we're good. Okay, so we got the headquarters here, but I don't need to go there yet. Got the historian here. And what else do we got going on here? Oh, really? I thought there was the other guy or something. Hmm. I mean, we rescued a guy. Oh, okay. What else do we got in here? Anyone? No, no one living there. I guess it's just a storage unit or something. Whoa, okay. Never mind then. I mean, Lu Bu was kind of a brute, really. But, uh, oh yeah, one thing I want to do here, with the uh, Historian, actually, is now we can finally use the Invite command. At the Historian, you invite Lu Bu, now your save point is here. Hooray! Let's see what else we got around here. 
on this side. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Well, good for you. But over here, we've got the weapon shop. So let's see, I want to buy a club for everyone who didn't already have one. And then we've also got the new caps that I want to get for everyone. And those will last us for a while. But now we're going to start getting more equipment upgrades. Uh, more regularly there. I forget if I bought one for Liu Fang there. Do you have one? Nope. Okay, yeah, we'll get one for you, and that'll be good. Um, yeah, or no, the cap, right? I hope I bought caps for everyone. Instead of, I thought I might have bought a bandana by accident. Nope, nope, we're good to go there. So yeah, now everyone's on the same playing field. For equipment, everyone should have a club, leather armor, and a cap equipped there. And that'll really help us out a lot. But yeah, now that we've gotten uh, Liu Bei over here, we can talk to him. He's at the, the palace up there. I could have gone in there before, but the people just say the same thing anyway. So I figured, yeah, we'll just invite him and do everything all at once. Okay, what do we got? Oh, lots of beautiful girls, apparently. I'm not sure why that's so specific here, but okay. Oh yeah, we got provisions that I'll never need to buy for the remainder of the game. Now, if you recruited... Uh, let's see, Wang Gui b earlier and uh, Yang Jin before him, this guy will show up here. Chow Chow. Sure, why not? More party members, though I never really use him. But that is the end of the chain of party members. Uh, for those three there. So no more uh, after this. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, so we have... Yeah, we even got uh, Lu Bu on your side now. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess we gotta... Yeah, take care of business there. Uh, let's see, I would like to drop off Xiao Chao here. Since I'm not actually planning on using him. I suppose I could fire almost everyone in the headquarters there. What does Lu Bu want to talk to us about? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.